now time for our last pre-final. It's KZ2, so let's take you through the grid. Enzo Boll, one of multiple drivers, the top eight, getting under 42 seconds in time qualifying this morning. Well, Boll starts from pole position. Robin Gleerum lines up alongside on the front row. Good work by Quinn Vinkel, who nearly got on the front row had it not been for Gleerum's last lap uh, push in qualifying. Uh, Winkel starts on the inside of row number two. We'll be joined by Jens Tröhr on that row. Farin Mega will be joined by Daniel Tenback on row three. Bart Plurg and Dirk van uh, Siltau to round out the top four rows. Completing the top ten, Joey Hansen and Jeffrey Fixer. Row six, Renzo Alibax and Jano Otmir with Gil Mertens, Dan Zopfi, uh, Kevin Steyauer, Rick Mewis, and Nigel Hendricks rounding out the 17 strong again. It will be a standing start. The wind has picked up to 13 kilometers an hour. 68% is the humidity right now, 20 degrees Celsius, and the cloud cover is quite significant as for those that can see on your screens at home just off of the tree line just at the back of the main paddock area here at the circuit again it's going to be 10 minutes plus two additional laps and then we'll go into the finals and each one will be over a duration of 13 minutes plus two additional laps Also, one of the interesting things, which I just saw Quinn Winkle doing, doing sort of a slight practice start, if you will. There's so much torque going through the back axles of these carts when they launch them off the line. You've got to be prepared for any eventuality. And you've got to really hook up that race start because that is crucial to your first part of strategy within this style of racing when you're in physical carts. So Enzo Boll lines up on pole position. Gleerum pulls alongside on the front row. Enzo celebrating a birthday earlier on this week. It was celebrated by the SP Motorsport team led by Stan Pex. As the last three drivers, Stehauer, Mewitz and Hendricks line up on the grid. Engines revving. Green flag waves at the back. Now we get down to business here in KZ2 for the pre-final. Lights are on. Revs rise. Lights are out. Who gets the whole shot? It's Gleerum. Gleerum gets around the outside of Boll. As they head down into turn two for the first time. Winkel holding off Jens Tröhr. And now... Trail looking to launch it up the inside through on Winkel gets through for third place that's the first move he needed to accomplish early doors as Gleerum look at the lead Robin Gleerum on the barrel arse has got after the opening half a lap and now the fight from the fight against everybody else the fight between everybody else starts off in earnest with Bowl and then it's uh, Quinn Winkel the defending champion Daniel Tenback Rounding out the top five, Dauphin Siftal rounding out the top six as Gleerum leads after the opening lap by 1.2 seconds. Now it's time for Boll, Trur, Winkel, et al. to try and uh, see what they can do and stop fighting. If they start fighting at this point, this is where your race starts to fall a little bit by the wayside. And now because Enzo Boll is trying to close on in on Robin Gleerum, but Jens Stroh wants to have nothing to do with being this, the second cart in the train. Winkel trying to force his way through on Stroh, going through into the second half of the, uh, the Mickey Mouse ear style section here at Circuit de Lanzart. And that has cost him time. Gleerum's got a lead, Gleerum's got a lead of one and three quarter seconds after the opening two laps. And now Jeffrey Fixer launches it up the inside of Daniel Tenback through into turn number two and gets through for fifth. Now Boll, Trur and Winkel need to start working indirectly together. They need to close in that nearly 1.8 second advantage 
that Robin Gleerham has built up over two laps. Yes, I'll repeat that again. Over two laps. As, uh, well, I'm not too sure if uh, Enzo Bolt was having a little bit of a drama of his own. The back end stepped out to the left hand side. Cart was sideways. And that's lost him more time. Oh, dearie me, that this could be foreboding here. Two seconds is the race lead after the opening three laps. Now, Bolt looks over his right shoulder. Tada, looks up the inside through it. Turn two. Has he got the job done? I think he has. And Bolt was sideways. Completely sideways. And now Jeffrey Fixer gets through at turn number three on Quinn Winkel. So I'm not too sure if there might have been a little bit of a touch between Jens Tröhr and Enzo Boll for Enzo Boll to be completely sideways unless Boll was completely flat chat on the throttle and was trying to select gears and get the traction down on the rear axle. So now Jens Tröhr on the CRG will try and close that gap and he's just gone purple. Jens Tröhr, 43-3-1-4. Robin Gleerham, your head better be on a swivel right about now. As Jano up here gets overtaken by Farin Mega. That is for ninth place. So initially Otmir getting uh, three positions. And now Jano Otmir firing back at Farin Mega through turn number four. Great work there by the 207. Running with the Castle Benelux Racing Team on the CRG machinery. Delivery has evolved over the course of the past four rounds of the uh, past three rounds of the championship. Uh, as far in Mega, nearly had Bart Plurg up the inside. Kevin Stauer up three places already. And now Robin Glerham is starting to respond to Jens Trur. 43.181 was the fastest lap by the 216 who leads the way. Jens Tröhr, 43.085. New fastest lap, however, by the driver in seventh. Up one place, 2.77. Dovin Sift out. As the 2.11 of Kevin Stauer being chased down by the 2.40 on the CRG, Joey Hansen. Let's see if uh, this gets to be a little bit more exciting as the race develops. Five minutes and 30 seconds. Plus two additional laps still to go here in this KZ2 pre-final. Tröhr is starting to work away at that gap. Quinn Winkel, new fastest lap of the race. 42.509 for the reigning and defending champion. He's currently running P5 behind Jeffrey Fixer in the 205 on the Mar uh, Marinello chassis. So, Glirum still continues to lead. Very interesting body language from Jens Tröhr. I think just completely was to the right-hand side coming through the left-hander at the final corner. And that gap has now expanded to 1.7 seconds. Could be a possible opportunity. Quinn Winkel looking to try and go for a move on. Jeffrey Fixer through turn number four. But it didn't quite pan out. They've got Daniel Ten back. And uh, Dovan Sift out uh, just behind. Down on the Viral Art chassis on the 277. Four minutes and ten seconds still to go. Plus two additional laps. Jenster has got that gap down to just under one and a half seconds after eight laps. 42.232 seconds. New fastest lap by the 242. Firing Mega dives up the inside of Jano Otmer again. But Plurg might have gotten the opportunity to get through and did so. So Jano Otmit now 11th. And Jeffrey Fixer trying to start pulling away from Quinn Winkel and looks to get after Enzo Boll, our pole sitter, who's now in third place. Trying to keep with Jens Tröhr. Top 10 covered by just under 5.3 seconds. Following on from nine laps of racing, we're on lap 10. And Jens uh, is putting in fastest lap after fastest lap. Last time around, 42.232. Now, new fastest lap 
over a tenth quicker, 0 0.105 to be precise, 42.127. There's Joey Hansen trying to close in on Jano Otmer. That is the battle for P11 on the road. That gap looks to be decreasing. Robin Glirum just keeping a steady, consistent pace. Gap now 1.163, another new fastest lap. Jens Sturr is picking away at least a tenth of a second at least per lap over the last three. And each time it's been a new fastest lap by the 242. Quinn Winkle trying to keep pace with Jeffrey Fixer. And they've got Daniel Ten back at the 223. Not that far behind. Covered by about six and a half tenths of a second. Still the chase continues between Glearham at the front of the field. Tre in second. 1.0 is the gap. 1.06 is the gap. And now Enzo Boll decides, well, I've been holding a little bit back. Let's go full push, shall we? 41.909 was the lap time just recorded by Enzo Boll. So top five, the top three covered by 1.5, top five covered by 3.1 seconds. Stoke Van Siftald uh, closing in on Renzo Alibax for that seventh spot on the field. And now Enzo Boll is taking leaf out of Jens Tröz's uh, form book at the moment because he's just gone purple again. 41.896 for the 255 with SP Motorsport. The gap now between the top three has gone from one and a half seconds to just over 1.2. So once the timer hits zero, it'll be two additional laps. So three laps remaining in what has been a fast-paced KZ2 pre-final. But the gap really between the top three hasn't changed. Uh, Jens Ter was the quickest out of the trio. 42.093. 42.128. New personal best for Robin Glearham in the race lead. Enzo Ball that time around 42.130. Quinn Winkle still trying to keep with Jeffrey Fixer and is actually doing a pretty good job in doing so, holding on to P5, starting to slightly pull away from Daniel Tenback. He's just put in a personal best himself. So two laps remain in this KZ2 pre-final. Robin Glearham leads. Second, Jens Sturr, eight tenths of a second behind. It's a second covering the top three as Enzo Boll that time goes quicker than the two in front. 42.0 for him. 42.1. Glearham high. 42.2. But how close is it going to be going on to the final lap? Jens uh, managed to degrade that lead away but it's not been enough it's still 8 tenths final lap underway Bohm now might be sizing up a move on Trur as Winkel trying to wrestle his way past Fixer for 4th place in the dying stages and might have got an opportunity to get through at turn 4 not quite well they're going to be very very close behind because Winkel's got 10 back then Alibak's not too far adrift uh, Van Silftau still holding on to 8th head of Bob Plurg and Farin Mega but it is going to be Robin Glearham that is going to take the win here and he's held on every single lap Robin Glearham wins by nearly 8 tenths of a second ahead of Jens Trur. Enzo Boll the pole sitter started on the front of the grid and ends up P3 Good run by Jeffrey Fixer, 10th to 4th at the flag, fending off the advances of Quinn Winkel for that position. Winkel started 3rd, ends up 5th ahead of Daniel Tenback with Renzo Alibax, Dirk van Siftout, 
Bart Plurg and Farhin Mega rounding out the top 10. Jano Opmir in 11th, having started on the outside of row number six with Joey Hansen, Gil Mertens, Kevin Stehara, Dan Zopfi, Rick Mewis and Nigel Hendricks rounding out the finishes, all completing 16 laps in the KZ2 pre-final.